In a fantastic interview with the Overcoming MS YouTube channel, Dr. Greger was asked about the advice being given to many autoimmune disease patients that they should avoid beans and lentils because they can contribute to leaky gut syndrome. Now, I also found this information being given by a prominent mainstream medical doctor as they had several pages on their website warning against beans and other legumes as they contain, quote, proteins that increase inflammation in your body and contribute to a leaky gut. One of the main ones being lectins, and in particular, agglutinins and prolamins. They advise their autoimmune patients to avoid all beans, lentils and grains. So now let's hear that clip from Dr. Greger's interview. I highly recommend heading over to watch the interview in full. Links will be in the description below. Many of those say that beans and legumes do contribute to leaky gut syndrome. Um, what's your understanding of that? What's the science about the causes of leaky gut and whether beans could contribute towards that? The most important thing to decrease in intestinal permeability or, or kind of seal up a leaky gut is uh, the short chain fatty acids that our body makes from fiber and resistant starch. Those prebiotics that we eat are turned into by our good gut bacteria into what are called postbiotics, short chain fatty acids like butyrate, which um, actually feed the lining, the cells that line our colon, and are able to establish those tight connections. So when I have little pieces of food and bacteria slipping into our, our bloodstream, what are the most concentrated sources of fiber in the diet? Number one, whole intact grains and legumes, depending on which okay. one. Um, but in general, probably legumes, so beans, split peas, chickpeas, and lentils are our most important source of uh, fiber and also whole grains because they're drier foods. Since most of fruit and fruits and vegetables, certainly all whole plant foods have fiber, but, you know, uh, fruits are like 90% water, vegetables are like 80% water. Um, and so that's why some of these drier foods like the grains and legumes are the most concentrated sources of fiber. This is a really cool study. Participants were given whole grains, beans, lentils, fruits, vegetables and nuts and seeds and got a significant reduction in zonulin levels. This is significant because zonulin is a protein that disassembles the tight junctions between our gut lining cells. And so it's a biomarker that indicates an impairment of our intestinal barrier and is therefore a useful marker of a leaky gut, which suggests that fibre intake helps to maintain the proper structure and function of our intestinal barrier. And this study said, quote, vegetarian diet gut bacteria are associated with intestinal microbiome balance, high bacterial biodiversity and integrity of the intestinal barrier. Now, having said all that, because fibre appears to be the key component, if you find beans and other legumes cause you a problem for whatever reason, or perhaps you have digestive problems, which means you find them hard to consume, there are still many other plant foods that can meet your fibre requirements. You may just have to consume more of them. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.